Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to film the Taylor Swift book tag. It's been requested. I watched some videos on it and I think it's really funny and I'm so, I'm super excited. I'm soper. When you combine words, you get things like that, like soper. It sounds like I'm trying to say supper but be fancy. Anyway, I'm super excited to film this. The white balance is really off and make, my hair is very yellow, my skin is yellow, my teeth look yellow, my lipstick look orange and not red, and I'm working with lighting and we're, we're gonna figure it out. I've been a big Taylor Swift fan, like I had a country phase right when her first CD came out or began to get popular, and I just, yeah, I've loved her since. I know all these songs. <laughs> now the first one is We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. It's where you pick a book series that you're pretty sure you were in love with, but then you wanted to break up with. And I have a good one for this. Just picking one from this because I'm not going to hold the whole trilogy up, but Requiem by Lauren Oliver. I did not like this book at all. I didn't. I hated it. I loved Delirium. Pandemonium kind of sucked, but I thought maybe it was just that common second book lull where the third book is better and you just have to get through the second to get to the third book and it just, it sucked. The, it was the conclusion of a trilogy that I felt was not actually ended and the author's excuse or reason, I won't say excuse, but her reason for it was she wanted the readers to be able to draw their own ending and I felt like that was a cop out personally. I, I want an ending. If I'm reading a book series I'm invested in, I want an ending. So yeah, I did not like this series and I would totally break up with it. I loved your your first one so much, but didn't just know. It went downhill. Question two, red. Pick a book with red on the cover. I have a couple in mind. How to Kill a Rockstar by Tiffany De Bartolo. You guys know my love for this book. It's just, oh, it's fantastic. Oh, and by the way, I have reviews for most, if not all of these books. So this, I do have a review on, and I'll have a whole bunch of links down there in the description that'll take you directly to those book talks. One of my all-time favorite books, I love Tiffany DeBartolo's writing. I wish she would write forever and ever. I just, oh, I will read anything she reads, writes, or reads probably, because I think she has really good taste in books. And the third is The Best Day. Pick a book that makes you feel nostalgic. Hmm. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to actually use two books because, they both, they both do a lot of that nostalgia thing. The first book I will use is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. If it weren't for me reading this book and then wanting to read the next book, I never would have met my best friend. And I, yeah, I call it fate, I call it fate. But this book just kind of, it brings me back to that time and it was a really good time in my life. And it, I don't know, it, was just, it brings back the feels, it really does. And I think forever and ever, I will always love this book. Well, I mean, of course, for that reason, but also because I fell so hard for the story and the characters. And it was just, it was really well done. It was a great story. I felt connected with the characters and, oh, it's one of my all time favorite books. It just is. And my second book is Looking for Alaska by John Green. I read this book while I was on vacation with my friend Mackenzie. We went to San Antonio just for the weekend and just because, and I was 18 and we just, we could. And it was, it was fun. And we, my car broke down on the way home and we had to wait for like three hours for a tow man or my father, my father actually got there before our tow truck. We sat on this hill up there cause we were convinced my car would blow up cause my radiator was fluid everywhere and smoke and stuff. And I had this book with me and I remember reading it on the hill when my friend was freaking out and we were just trying to kill time. So yeah, this book, book bring back the memories. That's an, that was just not English. That was all the wrong English. Next one is Love Story. Pick a book with forbidden love. Hmm. For that, I think I would pick Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I love this book. My love cannot express enough of my love. You guys know I love this book. It was the first book of Colleen Hoover's that I read and I'm really glad for that because I felt like it makes it extra special. But I, I chose this for forbidden love because I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read it, but you know, if you've read it, you get why I said that because a thing this is me not spoiling. I'm doing a shit job, aren't I? Number five is I knew you were trouble. Pick a book with a bad character that you couldn't help but love. I typically would want to go for Christian Grey or someone of that nature for this, but I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna do something a little different. I mentioned Fifty Shades, so I feel like I've done my duty in saying that that would be my choice, but I'm trying to be different here. So I picked instead uh, Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. Um, it's more like the second one, but I haven't finished the second one, which is Living Dead in Dallas. But Eric is kind of that not great character that I still, I, I love him anyway. And I think it's because I love him from the show so much that I have all these like, you know, preconceived notions that I'm going to like him. But I have seen him and I do like, or seen him. I've read him in these books so far and yeah, so that's my choose. Also in the running was um, Gideon from Bear to You. It's very close. 
innocent, and this one is because of Kanye Rest that it was written, so yeah. Pick a book that someone ruins the ending for. Okay, I don't actually have the book on me because I d it doesn't deserve to be on my shelves. I, I'm disgusted with the series. I loved the first one and I just hated the rest and I ugh, couldn't even stand it. I want to sell them. Just, I would choose Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Uh, ending was ruined for me. I, not even a bad thing because I'm glad I didn't waste my time on it. <laughs> That's just honest. Yeah. Number seven, everything has changed. Pick a character from a book who goes through extensive character development. This is hard because it's very rare that I genuinely feel like a character has changed. First thing I would like to mention, the honorable mention, which I almost chose Tony from the Consequences series because he changed a lot, but I haven't finished everything and there are books from his perspective, so I'm not quite sure if he genuinely had changed. I, I haven't finished the series yet, so I didn't want to include that. Anyway. I chose The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons, and the character that I'm really honing in on here would definitely be Tatiana, because she was a very, very um, kind of meek wafer of a girl she was often described as, and she's, she's she has some cojones. She doesn't really see it in herself, but she goes through a lot of shit, like really bad shit, and she always manages to get through, and she's, she's a tough cookie. Just... <sighs> I'm a partner in crime. All right, next question. You belong with me. Pick your most anticipated book release. Ooh, that's hard. Books I've anticipated, like The Retribution of Mara Dyer, are already out. Oh no. Oh, I have one. November 9 by Colleen Hoover. So freaking excited for that book, I cannot even put to words. The plot to that, I feel like, is gonna be my favorite next to Slammed. That's a lot to say. Stop fighting the love. Yeah, that, that, that's right. Don't fight the love. Basket. Forever and always, pick your favorite book couple. Ooh. Do you understand how hard this is? This is, ugh. I have three books and I still want to grab more, but I'm going to stop myself. First one I'm going to mention. God Shaped Told by Tiffany DeBartolo. Trixie and Jacob are just, oh, everything. I, oh, this, I want to cry. This book holds my heart in a way that it hurts my lungs. It hurts my lungs, that's my love. It hurts my lungs. Oh, I have a whole review for it and I can't, I can't talk about it. It just brings back too much. I can't. Uh, the next one I would mention is Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. Will and Mia, is it Mia or Maya? Maya. Maya, Mia, Maya. I'm never, I'm never good with that name. I remember having such a profound love for this book. I really want to reread it, honestly. I have, I have three to four copies of this book because of the new covers that kept coming out. And then I was sent one and I, I'm pretty sure I have four copies of this book. A lot of copies. Maybe I could get this way. I don't know. We'll find out. I think, I'm pretty sure I will eventually. And then my last mention is How to Kill a Rockstar by Tiffany DiBartolo. I have used it twice, so I guess I'm cheating a little bit, but oh, I cannot not mention this book. Eliza and Paul. Paul is, oh my God, I love Paul so much. And this is not like me like, fangirling but I'm just I'm such in awe of the character and he's such an awesome character like aside from the whole like he seems like a genuinely like good boyfriend type dude that's not even what I'm really getting at but just like his character is so well written and he feels so genuine and real and authentic and oh one of my all-time favorite male characters right up there with throw from the bronze horseman series why can't I think of his name name I can only think of his nickname nickname Alexander. Oh my god, why was that so hard? Um, but yeah, so I think I think Paul beats him though. I said before that he beat him, but I think I think Paul. I think Paul. Now this next one is Come Back to Me. Pick a book you would least like to lend out for fear of missing it too much. Am I gonna be that fucking person and mention books again and again? I'm gonna be that person. Be How to Kill a Rockstar. It'd be God Shaped Hole. And probably the Brown Swordsman. Those are my three. Now these are bonus questions and I'm totally gonna do them. Uh, Teardrops on my guitar. Pick a book that made you cry a lot. Ooh, I'm a baby, so let's pick something. Again, starting off with an honorable mention. Honorable, meh. Um, I would pick Looking for Alaska by John Green, but I'm trying really hard to not use the same book all the time, even though I did that twice. Eh, getting over it. The Edge of Never by J.A. Radmersky. This book, oh my god. It's like, if you want a road trip book that has this really awesome feeling of nostalgia and going and experiencing and like philosophy. Is it philosophy? Am I saying it wrong? I don't know. But I love this book so much. I have a couple copies of that too. Oh, too many. Uh, and then I would say The Fault in Our Stars by John Green because duh. I mean, who does not cry when you read this book? Very few people, I'm sure. And then the last bonus question would be Shake It Off. Pick a book that you love so much <laughs> you just shake off the haters. Okay. Not really sure what that question means, but like I guess a book that people hate that you love and so you're just like, well, whatever, I still love it. 
and I'm mean, again I would pick Fifty Shades of Grey but I'm trying to be different and so I would definitely pick Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. There are people that I find so often that just never got through the beginning which admittedly is not good. It's not that good. It's a lot of and here's where the story is so that you understand the later so I really do love this book. I don't know there's really no books that has so much hate surrounding it by genuine readers not just people who read it to just purposely hate upon it which is why I didn't really say Fifty Shades of Grey because that's those like those are the kind of people gen generally not always so trying not to insult mm. but that is all for this tag and if you have any other tag recommendations for me to do down there in the comments would be a great place to leave them see I saved my backwards sentence so check out my previous videos and I will talk to you guys later next time on Bookworm's Talk make sure to check the down bar if you want reviews for any of the books that I mentioned so we'll see you guys later bye